I cannot believe that one of my close friends is one of the... That were awesome timing. What were that? I thought Taylor Made was shooting his death. <laughs> I cannot believe that one of my friends is one of the only golfers in the UK to buy these set of irons. And he's a 12 handicap golfer. Brett, how are you? Morning, we all right? I'm very good, thank you. So good. talk me through these, because you saw my review. I mean, yeah. spoiler alert, we're mates anyway. So yeah, you, yeah. you watch all the videos, don't yeah, you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Every single one. Every single talk one. me through why we have these in the bag, because first of all, they're almost impossible to get, so I don't know how you've got them. We'll, we'll kind of jump through that hoop as well. But we're going to have a little bit of match today. We're at the Manor here in Leeds, and I want to know your, your thoughts. Well, uh, I watched your video on the Kirkland, and I happen to have a friend in America that managed... You ain't got friends. I've got lots of friends. Have you? Yeah. Uh, and he managed to get me a set. Uh, I've been in the market for a set for a few months now. Years? But, yeah, years. Pretty I am much. tight at spending on golf clubs, but uh, when I found out about these, they were definitely worth a spend. So, yeah. Um, He's uh, kindly sent them over. So I've been a 12 handicap golfer as well. What is it you were looking for in these clubs? Because to be honest, when I reviewed them, these are exactly the same specs as the ones I reviewed. Obviously they're going to be because you can't choose your specs. Oh mate, you've had a Terry one there. <laughs> is it the forgiveness? Is it the look? Is it the budget? Bit of everything, I think. Yeah? Um, yeah. S similar to that tailor-made set. So you get that forgiveness. Uh, we we still, can't say that. You are sorry? We can't say tailor made. Can we say that? Can we? Yeah, when I heard about lawsuit that they had with tailor made, uh, that's what made me think, well, actually, it might not just be a standard Kirkland club that's worth putting to one side and having a little look at. So when I managed to get an older set, I've stuck them in bag. And, and to be fair, I, I, they've surprised me. Right, 12 handicap. I'll give you shots as they come on the course. Okay. Par three to kick off. Left it right. Not bad for distance though, I don't think. No, short. Just plugged in at the side. Oh, you know when you get a little tee out and it's a full one? So guys, we're going to ask Brett his opinion on the Kirklands today. He's one of the only kind of mid-handicap golfers that I know who have them and have been gaming them for a while. So I can't wait to see what he thinks about them. I'm also going to try and beat him as well because I don't like losing to Brett almost as much as Gaz. Sit. That might be long. Sit. Be long. Oh, it's okay. Not bad. Saw so yours be short and I went one more club. So here's one. Were you not bothered about the lack of fitting? Because I know you, probably more than you know you for your golf, because I used to fit you for clubs back yeah. in the day, but you usually like go and get fitted? Yeah. Um, that was I terrible think... English, wasn't it? Though? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was terrible English. It wasn't my best. I think for the price difference in a Kirkland, and we're going to say it again, compared to that tailor made. Yeah. Um, it was worth for me spending that little bit of money and seeing if it really did make much difference. So yeah. um, I've had them in bag sort of about a month now. Yeah. Um, and to be honest, from the set that I had previously that I was fully fitted for, I am seeing more forgiveness, a little bit longer distance yeah. in this set that I've got here and I haven't had no fitting whatsoever. So um, it's starting to sort of beggar's belief whether I needed all that fitting. It does, and then to be honest as well, like if you if you know what you're doing resale wise, you could probably go and get more than what they charge you for them now. Yeah, definitely. On yeah. eBay or something. Definitely. So let's and see. I think again this could be a thing from that lawsuit that Taylor made's put in. Yeah. Um maybe it's enhanced that brand that yeah, Kirkland. I think it got probably has, from. and it's not the first time I did a full video on this, so I'll link it below, but it's not the first time Kirkland have been sued, tightly sued them over the Pro V1 and the Kirkland Performance right. Plus Ball back in the day. That had a similar effect. I can't believe really that Taylor May didn't learn from that, to be honest. But, I mean, have you seen the driver? No, I haven't seen that the driver. That looks just like a TSR2. Right. So could they be getting sued again? Yours yeah. has finished him. I'll let you place it because it is a uh, winter. I've got a 50 yard putt. <laughs> it is a long putt there. Come on then. Right, um, do you want me to see if you get a shot here? Come on then, let's have a look. I'll have I a can't chat. see it on a par three. Should have looked. The before, car's just be, took between my phone and my Nature Valley bar, you see. Before I duff this wedge, let's see whether we've Part got one three. in three. No, so, so stroke nine. Is it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Right then. Tee shots are incoming. Not bad. It wasn't a nice lie, even though you could no. place it. No, but we'll take that for Stabby. one. <laughs> for one. Right, I've got this downhill absolute sidewind. I don't know why I clubbed up. Brett obviously duffed his off the tee. Missing Did you duff it. it off the tee? 
misinformed on club selection, I thought, from Caddy. You were the one that got the yardage. Oh, it's not getting there. Oh dear. It used to be harder. You're must going to tell been. me it's still me, aren't you? It must have been, yeah, it still is. Is it still it, me? It is, yeah. It must have been arm day this morning at gym to hit it like that. <laughs> well, I walked in and I saw a bloke in a kid's Lando Norris top, so it put me <laughs> off a bit. Lando! Lando! Oh. Chances of three point from there are so high, though, to be fair. <clears throat> First put didn't help. There's always an excuse. Right, mate. Plenty of puts for it then. You made hard work of this one. Yeah, I'll oh, tell you what. So, how seriously do you take your golf in regards to these irons and the budget? Are you a Costco goer? Yes, we do go um, <coughs> re oh. regular, to be fair. Um, I like a bulk buy. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> <laughs> and toilet roll. <laughs> Bit of moisturiser. And have you tried the wedges and the putter? Uh, I haven't tried the wedges. I have tried the putter. Yeah. Um, I wasn't a fan of the putter. Uh, but after this little find and buy now, I'm definitely in for the wedges. Yeah, because I'm a huge fan of the ball. The ball, three-piece urethane, for the price, it's a pound a ball. Mental. We've both made a cracking double yeah, there, but you've made it with a shot. Yeah. No, actually, is that a five for you? No. Two, three, four, five. Five. And I've made four. Wow, is that ah. half? <laughs> That's horrendous. <laughs> wow. I think sometimes as well, going back to that curve. I'd change the subject as well, pal, yeah. Yeah, we'll just move on from that three yeah. foot. I think we're all sometimes so embedded in having a brand. Yeah, and yeah. I, and I think... You see it a lot at like um, golf clubs. Somebody's got a tailor-made bag, a tailor-made irons, tailor-made driver. Yeah. Not necessarily the right thing for them. No. But I call them tackle tarts. Yeah, and then they have the matching tailor-made hat and obviously the umbrella. Yeah. If yeah. you've got the umbrella, you've got to have the towel. Yeah. Because you can say this because you were a tackle tart. One hundred percent. Everything needed to be exactly what, what we've got lost here, haven't we? That says seventeen. Yeah, we've got lost. Other way. Um, I think we're through them trees. Possible? Yeah. Um, I was that person that needed a match, and even down to my towel. Yeah. Um, that, were, that were hanging off the back of that bag. But I think now when you look at it, and even pros have gone to the point where you've got people using a driver that's eight years old on tour. Yeah. That it just works for them, and they're getting the best out of it of what they need. And, and that's exactly the way I've gone now. Like I had a set of Titleist AP2s in my bag for years. I've never changed them because they worked for what I needed them to do. Yeah. Yes, I'm not playing on tour, but I always found when I picked my golf clubs up out at Garage. I think we're going the wrong way again here. Uh, sorry about that, we'll, we'll, we'll continue. <laughs> so the big thing for me as well when we talk about the budget, and we're both family men now. Yep. Family guy. <laughs> but the big thing for me is the difference is, in price, a family holiday. 100% and as well, like yeah. Like the new pings yeah. are £1,600. Yep. Yep. That's all you've got to say really, yep. isn't it? But, um, level. Level after one. It's always tight, pal. Always tight. Double bubble. Right, mate, par four. You get a shot here, you can put that away because it's an iron only video, my friend. Do you know what? I just forget. I'm just in auto it, it goes to show because yeah. obviously we've done another video today on that. And that's your choice of driver. So you're not anti tailor made or anything like that. No. Nope. No. Um, but you got the full set of irons for cheaper. Yeah, and when you see that video, I rate this driver massively. Yeah. Uh, I've hit some bad ones with it and it's left me in some good positions and uh, that's again why it's sort of kept in that bag but yeah we'll, uh, we'll go irons only then. See what you like with four iron. Come on down. Where are we going? Do we think just straight up? I think it's straight. You can see the flag up on the left between the trees on the left so just a nice low bullet drawer would be ideal with that 12 handicap self if you could. Oh, I can see it now. With that house in background, it's a nice little liner. Yeah, it is. Nice little low bullet. Then. Oh, oh, a nice God. natural fade. Here we come. Nice little bullet drawer. If we I can. meant drawer, actually. Oh, wow. How good's that? I talked you through that one, didn't I? Yeah, you did, actually. I'm yeah. impressed by that. And one of the things I really enjoyed when testing these irons, how versatile they are, how you can play different shots with them. Similar, to be honest, to the 790s. I think 
the new 790s are better, they feel softer, they may be a little bit more consistent with spin rates, but they're very similar to the first generation, which yeah. you can oh, you can tell why TaylorMade have got annoyed, can't you, in fairness? Yeah, 100%. Right, that's a good shot, that, mate. They're for none. Followed it, lovely. Wasn't as low as yours. So having gamed them for about a month, I'm going to ask you now the pros of them. I'm going to ask you on the final hole what you think the cons are of them. Okay. Pros, exactly what we've just said there on that tee. I've stood up to that torch crew, what shot I'm trying to hit. I'm 12 handicapped, so <laughs> sometimes I find that if I'm trying to hit a shot like that, I've got more scope to actually produce what I want. Yeah. So. What did you move out of? Was it the... AP2s. AP2s, yeah. So they were still quite forgiving and I felt that I could do that a little bit with them. But with that one, if I'm not quite hitting it out of the middle, I feel it is still a little bit more forgiving and uh, it still gets up there a little bit more. But Yeah, it's interesting because for me, the hollow bodied movement has changed golf clubs. It's changed. You don't now have to get a really ugly club that's forgiving. You can get a club that looks sleek Definitely. and sexy. Almost, if you didn't know golf, you'd think it was just a bladed club, but yeah. it's not. It's hollow bodied and forgiving. Yeah. Back in the day when we first started, I remember them Callaways and you got to your five, Big berthers, eyes. yeah. Big berthers. Oh, God. Awful things. Shockers. Right, you've done me there. Not, it's not an uncommon thing, is it, really? Well, it never happens, but what you got? 200? We've got, sir, 230 playing 235. Is it? Same 168. Yeah, that's probably more like it. I have to get a thing on there with that scope. 163 playing 172. Probably need a birdie here or a par at worst. It's not a four. What are you in six? Yeah, I've got six. What you got? Six. Shame, because it was a great strike. Mm, I think the length's good. Oh, it's long. No, it's not. It's not? Are you sure? I followed you. That's exactly the same. I think I'm shorter. Yeah. Yeah, that is short, mate. Right? Where did you strike that out of? <laughs> A very muddy, muddy looking face. Oh, I don't like these chips though. No, these aren't your best, are they? I'm, no. uh, I'm plug high, I'm not long, so. I do How do you like. find consistency with them? Good or? Yeah. Um, Depends on strike, doesn't it? I mean, mid handicap golf, mid handicap yeah. golf, but yeah, but there is there is that forgiveness, but then that it's still you hit a bad one and it's not leaving your uh, ten yard in front of where you've been, which is nice. Well, that's got what, to sit. You've committed to that. I've left everything short. All that's day. your shot gone, mate. I think. Ah, we're still in. Tea to green. Tea to green. It's just majestic. Must have been, I can't believe how good these greens are. Oh, it's very short again, sir. I've just said how good they are and it just took a skip. Mate, you got this for par, haven't you? Sure, that's another excuse. Ah, uh, no! Look at that smile. Just said he's never gone one up on camera. It's got to be the, the day, hasn't it, today? I've deserved it. Oh, that is. That's abysmal. Yeah, I'm right. scared of that little runoff there, to be fair. That's, that's... Maybe you should try that Kirkland putter. I don't think that would hold to do with any putter. That would just horrendous. Too much weight in the gym. This for four? Yeah. It's a great putt. That's a great putt, sir. A pro doesn't do that twice, does he? Oh dear. Brett Cooper. Oh dear. One down. one down. Still not one up. What a hole we have to finish on here. The beauty. It's been a lovely course actually, hasn't it? Been the nice. manner in Leeds for anyone like that's uh, wondering where we are to today. I'm sampling the food when we get in that club. And yes, we have just played the 17th and then the 7th because we wanted to finish on this gorgeous hole. 142 playing 135. Shall I go, mate, being my honour and all, being one up? Yeah, go on then. I had a little three stabbered into. Downwind. You know what? I'm just going to hit a full wedge. Uh, oh, right. Downwind, isn't it? You think? Playing what? 135. I don't think it's downwind. I don't think it's a wedge either. 
I don't think it's... What, you think it's more? Yeah, it's, it's a nine, I think, but we'll go eight. Because we ain't going nine. Be a lovely hole to have a one on. I fat that into the water. I've never had a one. Go! Oh, he's hung on. That was god awful. It wasn't good. I've said it a couple of times today, but the door is open. Just need to be able to use it. I've just got to be able to walk through it. <sighs> Come on, Spike. Ah, uh, no! It's a great strike. I've left it right again. That's could be wet. No. Oh, he's just got longest put it world. <laughs> wow. See, that were very toey. Distance-wise, though, it's still great. Distance is good, yeah. So, apart from that, terrible. Apart from that, yeah. I mean, after your last putts, mate, this oh, could... Oh, it's a bit uh... of this. Wow. Right, then. I'm down there. That's where I could be. <laughs> Put it into the pond. Yeah. This is a daunting putt, this. If this goes in, I'll jump in. I was going to say... Money is safe. <laughs> it's very safe. Wow. You need to get your new putter, don't we? Yeah. I don't think the Scott is doing it for you. No, it's not. I've got to go over like a mound as well. Yeah, it's not a nice put that. It's a good hole, this. Oh, it landed on down slope instead of up slope. Unlucky. I was so close to being good as well, you know that. Yeah, it worked far off. Have you got a shot here? Yeah. Some said two. I don't think you have. Check that scan. Check it, I want to see your face. 13, no oh, you Oh, damn it. <laughs> not a good putt this either again. Not when you're one down with no not, shots. Not when you're one could down. Could three putt from here easily. Easily. It's <laughs> <laughs> oh, just such a bad putt. I've gone. Ed's gone. You should sell them irons. I'm not gone. giving you that either. Why not? No, my egg. This Go isn't on, the then. putt you want. I've got that left. Huh? I'm just, sure, I'm just saying what I've got left. I think it's in your head that a little bit. Oh, you left it short. Oh, it's not short, but... It's a four. <gasps> right. Ah, no. right, you've given us the pros, give us the cons. Cons I'm finding at minute, and it's very much what I've just had there with my AP2s. I do play a little bit of a draw, but this could go back to fitting. Mm -hmm. All I'm getting now is, is that cut. Um, yeah. And I'm leaving everything right. Mm -hmm. um, it could be the shaft, it could be the shaft weight, it could be the amount of offset on the club, it could be anything like that, couldn't and, it? And so. this is where you know a bit more about that than me. Yeah. I'm looking at a club thinking I've saved a lot of money, but I'm, I have, I'm giving it time, it's in the bag, but yeah, I think at minute, if I were picking, I'd, I'm not quite sure, I don't know whether I'm getting the consistency that I need. Give it the summer. Yeah. Good, Definitely summer. Good five, mate. Yeah, put us in bag next week. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you made that one. Well done. <laughs>